92 years old, still CEO of the company, still making cameos. What keeps you going? Um, greed, probably, <laughs> mostly. No, it's fun. I, I like guys working with guys like you. I like working with people with a sense of humor and people who enjoy what they do. I enjoy what I do. And I think if you do what really excites you, it just keeps you going as, as long as possible. I'm doing what I enjoy doing. It's like other men like to play golf, so they play golf every chance they can. So you don't say to them, how come you're playing golf today? You played last week. It was the same with me. To me, it is such fun creating characters, writing stories, even doing interviews, even though I can't hear most of what the guy says to me. But um, it's an exciting life. And when you do something that you know the fans seem to enjoy, that gives you such satisfaction, you don't want to stop. Believe it or not, I almost never have been stuck on anything. Writing comes very easily to me. Everything else in the world is tough, <laughs> but writing, I don't have any problem with that. I, I can't write fast enough to keep up with, what, with the things I want to say. Is there one piece of advice you've found along the way about how to be successful in your work? The only thing I can think of, and I hope this is right, I think whatever you do, you should do what you most want to do and what you're best at. Too many people don't really do what their heart's desire is but they try to do something else because they think, well, it'll be easy to get a job or to make money. And if that happens, then when you're doing it, you feel like you're working. But if you do what you really want to do, you feel like you're playing. It's easier for you to do. And I know I wanted to be a musician when I was young, but I had no talent for it. If I had wasted time trying to be a musician, I'd have either been a failure or I'd have been just an ordinary musician. But I love writing also, and it came easier to me. So I figured I'd stay with that. I think you have to do what you do best and what you enjoy, and then you have a better chance. It's funny, people ask me who my favorite superheroes are, or is, as the case may be. I really don't have any because of the ones I've written, when I was writing each one, that was my favorite at the moment because I was all involved in him or in her. But um, I've been so busy just working on them that I, I've never had time to really think of who my favorites were. They're all like my children anyway. I think I love them equally the same. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is, this is Tony Stank. You're in the right place. Hi, heroes. This is Stan Lee coming at you. Just want you to know, Marvel has always been and always will be a reflection of the world right outside our window. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change is the way we tell our stories of heroism. Those stories have room for everyone, regardless of their race, gender, religion, or color of their skin. The only things we don't have room for are hatred, intolerance, and bigotry. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. And that kid walking by, hey, who knows? He may have the proportionate strength of a spider. We're all part of one big family, the human family, and we all come together in the body of Marvel. And you, you're part of that family. You're part of the Marvel Universe that moves ever upward and onward to greater glory. In other words, Excelsior.